Hi, OpenAI is news again. Yesterday they launched their new set of API or upgraded set of agentic framework. So this will have a huge impact on other agentic uh, framework builders like Agno, which was the previous file data and Pydantic AI and things like that. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I'm Sri from Shogini. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So what they have done is they're renaming the API functions, keeping their old functions active. We will see what that is. So now the agentic building block, they are interesting thing is they are providing web search built in. Otherwise, we used to have DuckDuckGo or other third party libraries to have web search. So API real time net access is now built in. And local file search is also now a built in mechanism. It is slightly trickier. We will see how that is done. And then the interesting thing is the operator has brought into it a computer use. That is, using this, your application running on your desktop can access the web browser and other system facilities. Okay. So we will see a demo of this. But before we see the demo, we will see the changes. So see, if you come to this platform.openai.com docs quick start, if you select chat completions here, this is how our API access used to look till yesterday. If you are using OpenAI library, of course, we import OpenAI and these two lines are importing the OpenAI library. Clear? Then we have this chat completions dot create, chat dot completions dot create and then we extract the value like this. But if you have seen my videos on Agno, which is uh, previous file data, Agno had made it very, very simple. Okay, I have made over 20 videos on Agno usage. Now, if you, from, from this drop down, if you select the latest responses API, see this, this looks much simpler, isn't it? So, he, so here, these two are same, but see here how we call the API. So this is new. So in order to migrate to the new API, you need to know this and you also need to know this, how to get the result. Clear? So now what next? We will see the tools. So if you come down, built in tools, web search, see this. So they made it as simple as Agno. Okay. So this indicates that OpenAI is learning from the market trends, which is a good thing. And uh, don't worry that OpenAI uh, LLM is a, a close model, but still these tools are open source tools. So here, all we need to do is to add this web search. So there is no change in the libraries being imported. See this? So this is the built-in tool. They're calling it underscore preview, but still it should be working. We will see if it works with a live demo. Okay, so now there are other tools. Next is a file search. Again, simple, but this is not that simple because for file search, we have to first upload uh, files to OpenAI and then create a vector store and then use the vector store ID here. Then that will be uh, used for file search. I'll be making a video very soon on this. And then the interesting thing is computer use. So your application can access computer environment, take screenshots, etc. We will make a video on it. Okay. So let's now get on with our demo. So I have a sample code here. Okay. So I have commented out the web search. 
It's a very simple code and this streamlit code that I'm showing here is available for you to access. You are in the description. But all our previous videos are also using similar streamlit framework. I provide a Docker Compose and this is how to run the streamlit application. Okay, application is ready. That is Docker Compose up app hyphen st. And now if we check this application, let's refresh. Okay, please tell me the latest news in this month that is March 2025. Let's see, we have commented out the tool web search. Okay, see I am unable to provide real-time news update or information beyond my last update. Okay, so it's not able to produce the results. So now what we will do is we will enable the web search preview. Remember, there is no other extra library involved. And let's now query. Okay, so here, see this? It is able to get the latest results from the web and give us the URL from where it got. This application is available for you to test it. But what is there is we are using the responses API. Clear? And, and here, see this? We are accessing response.output underscore text. So this is a quick demo and explanation of what OpenAI has launched yesterday. Detailed videos on these topics will come soon with practical examples. So remember, if you want the practical examples of these newly launched tools and complete access to the code, please remember to subscribe, do like and share. Thank you for your time. See you again. Bye-bye.